Today, it's time to destroy the Rangers. There is a force so evil. I can't believe it. So sinister. They're after us. And so powerful. The Power Rangers may have finally met their match. We're in big trouble. Everybody and welcome back to Ranger Chronicles. I am your host Charlie Neymar. Today we are beginning the Psycho Saga, the multi-part storyline involving the Psycho Rangers. It all starts today. So let's jump right into our first episode, which we are going to do in three, two, one, go. Oh, a pre-credit sequence. Or, uh, no. A, a cold open? No, previously on Power Rangers in Space? Attack formation! Wow, it's a big owl, it looks like. Yeah, buddy. Astro Megazord online. Astro Megazord blaster, fire. I don't know that they have any other more uh, Megazord battles in this episode, so this is a good way to use that footage, and it's also a good way to. Uh, Use up a monster real quick. Also, I don't know if you saw it, but when he when the Megazord was holding the monster up, you could see the string. Well, that was easy. Good job, guys. That's it. <laughs> they didn't even set it up. Nothing. No aftermath. No pre-do. Rangers Gone Psycho was the 31st episode of Power Rangers in Space. It first aired on October 30th, 1998, written by Judd Lynn and directed by Judd Lynn. Interesting that they're still using a regular astronomer look, considering she's basically maintaining the same look, I believe, to the end of the series. I'm actually wondering, the way this is starting, if that first part was just added in there just because they needed footage used. It was all Sentai. I bet I'm not exactly what you expected. But all they had to do was a quick you. VO and you're good to go. Are you? I don't know yet. I guess I'll just need some time. I've got all the time in the world now. Except you didn't. Sorry, Andros. Alright, surf spot! Whoa! Wherever you've been, you sure brought back an appetite. Uh -uh. Thank you. <laughs> the Synthetron never made a hamburger as good as Adele's. <laughs> Whoops! Already? What is that? It's my new Copernicus 2000. Keeps addresses, messages, anything you could want. It's kind of like having a second brain. Oh, like Can a little computer. It? Yeah, thanks. Wow. 
<laughs> oh, Very cool. sounds like the Rangers need to change their Thank you. You're communicator welcome. noise. Maybe hey, do, that do, thing do, 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 just do. like our communicator. You think? Well, they're really making a big point about that. Once again, we have reports of a catastrophic disturbance in downtown Angel Grove. The perpetrator is unknown. But whoever it was, Wait, or else? whatever it was that destroyed these buildings is incredibly powerful. The culprit struck like a tornado, tearing everything to shreds. We have a witness. Oh, wait. Here come the Power Rangers now. What? Hopefully we'll be able to work <laughs> with them, and they'll be able to shed some light onto the atrocity that just occurred here, and perhaps clue us into who or what was the cause of it all. Yeah, no one's noticing that the Rangers squares on their out. chests are wrong. They're all black. Oh, the tiny little blasters! Oh! And that was point blank, too. How are they not hitting them? They're probably doing this just to draw out the rangers. There they are! Let's go! Of course, now that the uh, camera crew's gone. I can't believe it! They look just like they can't be. But we are rangers, and we're here for one reason, and one reason only. To destroy you. I kind of wish that they, at least to start off with, were using the actual rangers' voices. But it's alright. What they're doing with the voices is still a lot better than the first season when the, they just talked a little raspier when it was time for them to talk. Oh, there's supposed to be a window break. You can't show that on American television. I know Fox Kids especially didn't like that. Oh, he called it a psycho spin? Really? It doesn't work? Where'd she go? Or was it a mirage? Oh, she's got a bow and arrow. Nice. Man, they're making short work of these rangers. You were right. We're not power rangers. Who are you then? <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. I have to admit, these are some pretty awesome suits. leather and stuff, it's almost like Kamen Rider meets Power Rangers. Or Kamen Rider meets Super Sentai. Why would you say that, Andros? See? Oh! Ooh! Help is on the way! What I said. Are you guys okay? Yeah. Thanks, Zane. Hey, where'd they go? It's like they just disappeared. Actually, it's exactly Lucky what they just us, did. We far away. We've got to find out who those guys are. So, the 
The Power Rangers have met my Psycho Rangers. Did you get their energies? Yes! Each of us has tapped in on a Power Ranger. Good. Soon you'll know them inside and out. You'll know their thoughts. Predict their next move. Find them, and don't come back until they're destroyed. As you command. The Rangers have finally met their match. You can't hide for long. Oh, that's. Begin scan. Oh, Lord. They can just scan for the Rangers? I like how they also seem to have come from? They're just like put us. the clasps as part of the design of the helmets. You know, they read something from my mind. They're learning about us. The more they know, the harder they'll be to beat. Why are you there talking about it instead of, I don't know, going over things on this mega ship or something? Let's get back to the ship. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, he's got one of those little computer thingies. What is it? I found a Power Ranger. Let's go. So much for that idea. I've got one. Then let's go. But they did a good job of recreating the special effect, which makes me wonder if the effect of the uh, glow scan thing means that it was added from the American team, or if it was actually part of the footage before. Whoa! Nope. reports of several disturbances Jeez. on Earth. What kind of disturbances? They are unknown. It's very fitting that just the first time they notice this computer coming out just happens to coincide with the Psycho Rangers trying to find them based on the sound the of Psycho the Ranger communicator. Random people on Earth. Why? They're looking for us. But why would they mistake innocent people for Rangers? We better alert Zane. Uh oh. Go ahead. Zane, be on the lookout. The cycles are attacking innocent people. Probably looking for us. Thanks. I'm at the market. There's no sign of him now. Yes, there are. Was that his morpher or his scanner? It's like red. We've caught a ranger. <laughs> and you know what? It was all TJ's fault. This is why the cycle rangers have been attacking all those people. That sound. They think it's one of us. Exactly. Which means we absolutely can't use our communicators. Ah, oh, man. What? What is it? I called Zane. He was at the market. All right, we'll check it out. It's like old school, except even older because... Down there. Oh, good. It's just the scanner. Anyways, it's old school, but it's not even Power Rangers old school, because Power Rangers have always had the communicators up to this point. They got Zane. Run a scan. We've got to find him. I've got him. Ooh, what a mansion. He's inside the old library. That's a Remember, library? Wow. It's like a college library. Booty and atmospheric. <laughs> I 
I'm oh, sorry, that was kind of funny. That's pretty good. No, we can't. They'll hear us. We need to distract them. Just for a moment. I hear them. I knew they made a mistake. Let's move. You know, for people that say they know all their thoughts and everything. Okay, maybe. But seriously, they're not doing like a great job of figuring out what they're doing. That's cool. Ninja speedrunning? Cool looking effect, too. ironic considering Judd Lin was very big on um, shrinking the morphs before. Let's use the whole thing. I hear them. Huh? We've got to get moving now. Spiral saber. <laughs> Come on. Oh. It worked. That's enough. We're coming through. No, probably not. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's not going to work forever. That's going to take like eons. I mean, good idea, but that's gonna take a while. Ooh, man! We'll see about that. Uh, yeah, no, guys, come on! You just got the crap beat out of you. What are you doing? Oh, look, the Green Ranger Powerball. Time for the wild card. Nice boots, though. Jeez. Looks like the chaos energy from the comics. What's Man. They got manhandled. Just yes. Andros is the only one he's worried about. We gotta get back <laughs> to the ship. Uh, yeah, good idea. There you go. Probably should have morphed into silver before running over to them, but whatever. We have them. Why did you stop us? You'll finish them when I decide. Oh yeah, and when will that be? Remember your place, psychos. I'll tell you as much as I decide to tell you. Now leave me. Ooh. She's rough. It does bring up a good point. Why did she stop them? My princess, tell me your plan and I will assist you. 
The Psycho's magnificent power comes from Dark Spectre himself. They'll destroy the Rangers, but slowly, so I can drain Dark Spectre away to nothing. You want to destroy the Rangers and Dark Spectre? Wow! There's only room for one evil monarch, and that will be me. Ooh. Looks like her uh, brainwashing implant stuff was like a little too good. Which is why we absolutely can't use our communicators. So, remember, don't you. Oh, you can't let him trip? Oh, well. All right, well, that's it for part one. Part two is coming up right after this break. I'll see you in a second. Let's go on to the next exhibit. No, let's go on a cosmic adventure with Power Rangers in space. Blast off with five space vehicles that form a deluxe mega voyager, ready to battle evil Derkonda. And look, it's the Silver Ranger. Only with a deluxe mega winger. It transforms at the touch of a button. The space film is starting. Imagine where your next space adventure will take you with the Deluxe Mega Voyager and Deluxe Mega Winger with Silver Ranger, each sold separately from Bandai. All right, and we're back, and we're ready to look at our second part of the Psycho Ranger saga with Carlos on call, which we will start here in three, two, one, go. There it is. The Rangers use their Megazords to stop a threatening asteroid. Heroes then discovered that Corone had turned evil. I am Again. Stone, Princess of Darkness. And Astronema created the Psycho Rangers, who nearly defeated the real Power Rangers. Destroy the Rangers and Dark Spectre? There's only room for one evil monarch. Does this spell doom for our heroes? Find out on Power Sure looked like it last time. Next. Meanwhile, at the surf spot. Oh, careful. Actually, they are. They're showing the, uh, let's license. I wonder if they licensed that for permission. Carlos was one of my best students at Angel Grove High. This is my daughter, Sylvie. Was? Hey, Sylvie. Good to meet you. Do you want a soda? Sure. Would you mind watching her for a minute? Oh, not at all. Okay. Hey, Sylvie, check this game out. Now she's allowed, now they're allowed to have sodas? Watch the master. Oh, he took down Hulk Hogan. The thing must be broken. Whenever people lose, they think the game must be broke. <laughs> oh, really? Well, let me see you try it. Okay. Uh... Back in the day when it only cost a quarter to play one of these games. Jeez. It works fine. Here you go. Just a minute, Mom. Nice meeting you. Thanks, Carlos. No problem. Bye, Carlos. Bye. <laughs> Haven't we seen this before? That's gonna come back to haunt him. Deck had detected the monster in this area. Are you sure? <laughs> there he is! Hello, Rangers! You look harmless. Really? Man, Ashley, you really shouldn't open your mouth like that. Is 
See? Oopsies. Oh, it's Carlos. Wow, he's the Black Ranger. Oops. It's amazing that never happened before. Carlos on Call is the 32nd episode of Power Rangers in Space. First aired on October 31st, 1998, Happy Halloween. Written and directed by Judd Lynn. Go, Power Rangers, go, 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 fly, go, Power Rangers, go, Power Rangers, go, Power Rangers, nah, in space. into uh, American footage so they're not at the docks anymore. Oh, nope, they are. Where's Andros? Oh, what's he scanning? He got away. Cool set place, though. The docks. Excellent. The information data scammer has collected will be useful. Ah, <laughs> data scammer. Nice. I can take them all without data scammers database. No, astronomer. Let me do it. No, I'm the strongest cycle ranger. You underestimate their strength. No, you underestimate our strength. Ooh. Talking back, that's not nice. You have email. I know who you are. He must be on AOL. Black Ranger. I have something you want. Meet me at the front center at noon. What the heck? You've got mail! Psycho Ranger. No. You know, that communicator still doesn't tell time. Not even now. Oh. Hi, Sylvie. What you doing? Well, I'm kinda busy, so... I'll see you later. You don't look busy. Well, I am. I'm busy waiting for someone. Well, quit waiting. I'm here. No, I mean, I'm waiting for someone in particular. And it's kind of important. Hey, does your mom know you're here? Yeah, she gave me permission. Well, right now it's not a really good time for me to hang out. So I guess I'll just see you later. You're kind of slow for a Power Ranger. What? I'm the one who sent you the email. <laughs> Me, a Power Ranger? <laughs> Boy, wouldn't that be nice. Look, I don't know who told you this, but that wasn't very nice. So you go on and play now, okay? See? From when you Oops. went into the photo booth, remember? Oh, no! Is she being dumped? Oh lord. Blackmail, she says. Want some? No, thanks. Wanna play the marble game again? Marbles again? No, I don't want to play marbles again. It's time to go home, huh? Such a nice guy. This is for you. A pager? What for? Just in case I need you. <laughs> in case you need me? Look, 
I'm not your personal ranger, okay? You can't just call me and I show up. No way. I got big news, Okay, everybody. okay, okay. Just take the dang pictures, Bye. dude. They're right well, there. You gonna tell the others? You know, you can't keep catering to her every need. Yep, apparently yeah, you he is. You know what? You're right. I'm a Power Ranger, not a babysitter. Exactly. But then again. Then maybe you've done that in the past, though. What if she starts telling people? That works in space. Meet me at the front center. Sylvie. I thought she just had to go home. They're in the same outfits and everything. Maybe she just needs a friend. She is having fun. Hey, dude, calm down. Look, Why can't you just get the rock? There are people in trouble. I need to be there. But instead, I'm babysitting you. You know what? Never mind. Keep the photo. Tell everyone you want. I have bigger worries. Carlos, wait. Carlos. Wow, he could be some... Like a little mean sometimes. It's a little hey, kid. Are you up? Yeah. Come on in. I can't fall asleep tonight. I keep thinking about Sylvia. I can't believe what nerve she has. Listen, before you go on, there's something you should know. What? Sylvie's brother became very ill, so they moved to Angel Grove in order to help him get better. She now, how does Ashley know this? Here. So, how's her brother? He died a couple of months ago. Oh! He took it pretty hard. He said died on Power Rangers. I didn't know that. Yeah, here it is. He's really not supposed to be um, divul divulging information like that, right? Grow up and be astronauts together. They swore someday they'd go to the moon. Sylvie promised to bring him back a moon rock. <gasps> Excuse me, I gotta go do something. I'm sorry. How did Ashley know about that, though? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But here, take care of this and I get back. I'm guessing he's going to get a moon rock. Don't worry, someday I'll be the best astronaut there ever was. I'll be so proud of you. Why is she there without her mom? 86 to 98. 12 years old. Dang. Of all the places he's going to show up where she is? 
An actual phone booth? particular This was going to be part two of the Psycho Saga, but I mean, they made a cameo, but they haven't been in this episode, have they? exploding reaction like that last episode, except it was faster. <laughs> Hold it by the mouth and just kick it. Nice. to do that without uh Zane around to pilot the Mega Winger? You failed me. Hey, what I do? Where are the Psycho Rangers? They've left to make trouble for the Power Rangers. <laughs> Troublemakers. Get them back here now. Oh, okay, never mind. There they are. It's you. We gotta save her. Let's do it. Let her go. Who needs her? Now that I have you. If you want trouble, you got it. I want. Well, this is a crazy place. There's, you can see mountains, you can see the water and buildings, and... Oh, uh, there's four, four other rangers that should be helping right now. Oh, okay. And there's also four other Psycho Rangers, too. Okay, that was different. So now they're fighting amongst themselves. That's cool. Whenever you call, our rangers will come. 
Ugh, you shouldn't promise that one. You're supposed to be fighting the Rangers, not each other. That's what I was doing, but he couldn't stand to see someone else. Quiet! From now on, we take on one Ranger at a time, and the first one will be pink. Good. I'm ready, Astronema. You think so? Wonder why pink. We'll see, won't we? Fight. Okay. Bye, Carlos. Bye, Sylvie. Carlos? Yes? I just wanted to say I'm sorry. Oh. Apology accepted. Can we still Why don't you rip off the bottom picture and give it to her, though? Of course. We'll always be friends. Oh, I almost forgot. I got something for you. He just put it in his pocket. Wow, what is it? It's from the moon. Thanks. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, that's so much trouble. How about I take you to the one place better than any roller coaster or any water slide in the world? Where's that? Come on, I'll show you. <laughs> Don't worry, folks. She's not going to blow up due to the vacuum and everything of space. Huh? You don't? It's the Power Ranger universe. They got They have air in space. Maybe they should explain that maybe it like makes an atmosphere around it. I don't know. I assure you, Dark Spectre, my armies are searching tirelessly for the traitor that drains your power. Oh. I'm taking her to Astronema. I don't think so. She's getting away. Why does this seem more like a yellow focus than a pink focus? Would you mind watching Well, that's going to be fun. Not at all. Okay, great. Look, so we check this game. Go back to your mark on the steps. Actually walk back up. Well? Oh, look at that. That was a terrible putt. Either way, Try again, dude. Hmm. There must be a good reason why they uh, stopped doing this after this season. It's almost like they're just running out of funny stuff to show, so they're just showing whatever they can, I guess. Just I don't know. Anyway. All right. Well, that's it for today's episode. We have two more next time, obviously. A Rift in the Rangers. And I'm wondering, based on the preview, if that's the Psycho Rangers, not the actual Power Rangers. And Five of a Kind. I wonder if that's the one with the blue. Anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful week, and I will see you next time for more Power Rangers goodness. Take care. Bye. Thank you for listening to Ranger Chronicles. Feedback for the show can be sent to prchronicles at gmail.com, or feel free to leave a comment on the show's posting at powerrangerchronicles.com. Ranger Chronicles is now on Patreon. If you'd like to support the show, please visit patreon.com slash rangerchronicles for more information. All images and music heard on the show are copyright the respective copyright holders and are used for entertainment purposes only. No infringement is intended. This show is dedicated to everyone, both in front of the camera and behind the scenes, who have worked to bring us Power Rangers since 1993. Ranger Chronicles is a proud member of the Two True Freaks Internet Radio Network. Please be sure to stop by 2TrueFreaks.com to check out more great shows. Thank you, and may the power protect you. Power in your life.